Hi and welcome back to our channel. Today we are here to share some exciting news about Unity AI. Unity Moves, which is the AI chatbot of Unity itself, is now available in closed beta and we have been invited. So, so let's dive in and review it together. So this is how the Unity Moves interface looks like. So it is very similar to ChatGPT. You have a box to enter your question. Then you have a place to see your response. So let's start with the high. Okay, so it says moosing and the response, hello, how can I help you with Unity or Unity related development? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so first thing I'm going to ask is, can you answer questions not related to Unity? It says I'm here to assist only for Unity related questions. So it doesn't answer question not related to Unity. So anyhow, we'll give it a try. Name an animal with no legs. So let's see if it answers that. So it says no, I won't answer that. Like I'm here only to help with Unity related questions. Okay, so let's say how to get started with Unity. It says moosing. It's taking a long time. So it says download and install Unity, then familiarize yourself with Unity Editor. Learn the basics of Unity scripting. Start with simple project. Join the Unity community. Okay, it gave an overall view of how to get started with Unity, but it's not in detail. So let's try asking. Can you give me a detailed plan to learn Unity, sorry, Unity in one month? Okay, so let's see what Moose has to say. Uh, one major difference I find between ChatGPT and Moose is Moose is a little slow. So maybe it's new, they're upgrading the servers and it might take some time. And the other thing is this viewport is very small. So the answer has to be like, we have to scroll even for a small answer. So yeah, so it has given me a weekly plan. So week one, we say install, get familiarized with Unity, then learn about game object. Okay. Then it says intermediate concepts, physics colliders, rigid body. Okay. Then we go to the advanced topics, shadow, lighting, audio, scriptable objects. Then we go into polishing and development, optimizing. Okay. So it says throughout the month, you have to dedicate time each day. Then you have to follow tutorials. Okay, join communities, experiment and create projects. Okay. This plan should give you a solid foundation of Unity within a month. Okay. So I'll ask it for some reference. So let's say, can you give me references or tutorials to learn the above topics? So yeah, it's mousing for a long time now, but I think it will give me references of Unity documents and nothing else. So let's see. Yeah, as I said, it is giving me reference from documents and learn Unity website. Okay, so this should be good for anybody getting started with Unity. Now let's start Unity and see if it can give us some code that we can use in our game. So while Unity is starting, we'll just try asking Muse if it can give us textures. Okay, can you output textures so it says as an ai text space assistant i cannot directly output textures okay you can export them and from third party assets so yeah it cannot create textures so you will have to download and import it let's try asking most to create a simple camera follow script let's say 
I want my camera to follow my player as in a third person shooter game. Can you give me a script for that? Okay, so I'm going to follow every instruction and see if it works out. I don't know why it is apologizing, but here's the script to create a third person camera that follows a player in Unity. What it does, it takes a target, it takes an offset, then it gives a smooth speed. Okay. Then it has a desired position. Okay. Okay. So it's using lerp to slowly move the camera. So okay then transform dot look at target so let's see how to use the script is create a c sharp script in unity project name it as third person camera so i'm going to follow it step by step let's create an empty scene here new scene built in okay so inside my project i'm going to create new so what was the name of the script third person camera so i'm just going to copy this create a new C sharp script paste it okay and then copy and paste the code above into the script okay copy the code go there open the script then paste it here okay let's save it go back to unity and see if it has some errors so it doesn't seem to have any errors okay so let's go back to moose then what do i do next attach a script to your camera game object okay so the script goes to my camera so it takes in a target it takes in an offset okay and it takes in a speed so let me just create a 3d cube and reset the transform so in the offset we need an offset of minus 10 in Z and one in Y. We also need to assign the target. So this is the cube. And I have set the offset. Let the smooth speed be at the default value. Okay. So this is my scene. This is my cube. So if I move it, the camera follows it. So it does work. Okay. This is great. So let's see how it looks in the game view. Okay, so the cube moves in front. So the lerp is actually causing a little distortion. So we'll tell most not to use lerp. Can you update the above code to not use lerp? So it's thinking what to do okay so it gave me something without using lerp now it's basically using transform.position so i guess this code will also have the same impact so let's save it go back to unity main camera the offset is already there so we'll just play the game and we have to move the cube okay the camera follows very slowly so we can try increasing the speed to some like to one then let's see what it does okay let's move the cube Okay, so we'll tell moves to make the camera follow the player instantly like update the above code to make the camera follow player instantly okay Okay, it does update the code. 
let's copy this paste it here save it go back to unity main camera the target is there the offset is already set let's play the game select the cube move it yep so as you can see in the game window there is a little jittery movement with the cube so we basically use the late update for this and uh, most doesn't seem to do that so let's see if using a late update fixes this issue so yeah you can see that there's no jittery moment so most did give us the fixed update so we'll just go back to moves and say the above code produces jittery moment let's see what moose has to say i apologize if the previous example didn't work as expected let's try to approach this using late update instead of fixed update so yes moose seems to know what it is doing so the code worked okay what else shall we ask moose about okay now let's try something else let's try to round check while jumping so we'll say how sorry how to round check while creating a jump script okay it's moving so yeah it creates a ground layer mask then checkpoint okay then check radius what it does is gets the rigid body component and it calls a ground check function uh, this seems to be a problem with moose where it uses symbols this should be ambersynth to ambersynth that is basically and okay inside the ground check it says is ground check physics dot check sphere so this should work except for this problem so this seems to be happening only inside the if loops so if you're using moose and you get this problem then you can just replace this and use the code so it, it also explains how to use the code so say we don't understand what physics dot text sphere does so we'll just ask moose what it does what does physics dot text sphere do well moose seems to be apologizing for a lot of things but anyway is a method in unity that tests if the collider intersects with the sphere described by the center point and a radius okay it returns a boolean value which is true if the sphere overlaps with any colliders and false otherwise so for the first look of unity moves it seems to handle code very well and it seems to not answer any question that is not related to unity but it will be great if moves is integrated with the unity engine like so that we don't have to copy paste things and and constantly shift windows so yeah it's a good start it's little slower and uh, if unity is watching this please increase the size of the viewport it's very small so you can move those buttons on the top and they can provide more space for the chat and the answer so that's it for today and if we have any update we'll get back to you with another video thank you and see you in the next one thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share